What's up, organization? This is James Chu. We're here at the premiere screening of Carrie with Julianne Moore. But before we do that, I wanted to make sure I answered all of Ghana Life Social's questions that came into my Gmail. And here we go. This question comes from the amazing leadership of Miss Deirdre Binker. She asks, James, in leadership, I am finding myself wanting new tactics to inspire individuals who may be feeling frustrated or challenged. Any innovative, effective tactics suggestions? Yeah. Don't do anything new or, or innovative. <laughs> Just stick to the basics, the BBBs, the basic building blocks, the basic agreements, the basic fundamentals on how to do the business. They're, you don't need new tactics. It really does start with, do they have a reason why they're doing the business, right? It's the only thing that's gonna push them to do it. Uh, did you sit down with them and find out really what are the top 10 things they wanna get achieved out of the business? Number two, building a list. Did they make a list of 200? Because the truth is, you don't need new tactics when you have a list of 200. If you have a list of 200, Really, names are almost endless, and if you're helping someone invite the correct way, and you're helping explain things the right way, within the first, I could, would be shocked, at a 25 or the first 25 phone calls, you're probably on, only on letter B, if not still on letter A, and the next truth is, you're gonna get success out of it. You're gonna get people to buy product, and you're gonna get people to wanna get started in the business. And if you don't, out of 25 phone calls, I would say that we're doing something wrong as leaders. It's you, Deirdre, you're saying something or you're not effectively doing this the right way. So no, thing, no need for new tactics. Now are there tactics? Yeah, there's this, the Facebook stuff that we always go over. The uh, social media, using Facebook and Twitter and YouTube to your advantage um, and utilizing that stuff. So that's absolutely something that you should be doing if you're not be doing because it's something they can do from home and it's little success pilots. So if you tell someone, hey, invite 10 people a day through social media and they do that, that is something that's measurable, right? Oh, congratulations, you did it. So that's one way that's already effective is I like that because you don't need to be in front of them and if they do it, if they're told to do 10 and they do 10, you need to say, hey, good job, you did it. And if they really did do it, it they should have some type of serotonin go through their brain and say, oh, that feels good, I had success, right? It wasn't the monetary success we want, which is what we want, but it's measurable to be able to give someone a goal and for them to achieve it, right? And I hate to put anyone on blast, but I don't know how many times you heard me say, do the social media, and I know no one in Oregon is actually doing it. I know that for a fact. The reason why is because we're friends on Facebook and I don't see the trending and I don't see it. And so if you want new tactics, I don't know why we're not doing that, right, as one of the tactics. but. You don't need new tactics because we have the basic building blocks. Uh, finding out the why, making a list, and inviting them through phone call if needed, if not self-invite, and really, really utilizing that and really pushing the pavement and getting the most out of it. So, I hope that answered your question, Deirdre. Let me know if I offended you. Let me know if I didn't offend you. Let me know. Whatever it is, you let me know. Gonalifesocial at gmail.com. This is the first time you're seeing any of our episodes and you stumbled upon this video somehow and you have questions for me, Social at gmail.com. Give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, why? So you can be a part of the organization. And until the next episode, leave a comment, talk to you soon.